Okay, so Josiah comes in and does everything that Hezekiah had done and more, right? He even tore down the cubicle of the male prostitutes. How do you worship a fertility god? You go into the temple and you have sex with uh, either male or female uh, priests, right? Um, a lot of this was, um, it's not called replication, but you would act out what you want to happen. So if you want fertility, rain, and crops to grow, you have to, how do you, how do you have to act out what you want? So you go to the temple and you be fertile. You make it rain, yeah. With, with, <laughs> with the temple project. I'm not gonna take credit for it. Here in the peanut gallery. Um, yeah, you, 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 you have sex, and that's how you worship these fertility gods. And then the idea is, whatever the gods see you doing, um, that's what they'll do for you. Okay, by the way, that's not just pagan religions. There are a couple of stories, and I'm thinking of stories of um, uh, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, right? Jacob, um, there's a great story about how he ripped off his uncle Laban um, with his sheep. And one of the ways he did it was one of these, whatever, what this, this fairy tale, but it's what they believe, that whatever you saw while you were having sex, or animals, whatever they saw, that's what would come out. So if you were looking at ma uh, males, you would, you would, your baby would be a male. If you were looking or thinking about females, your baby would be a female. In this particular story in the Hebrew Bible, uh, he made a deal with his uncle. Uh, any sheep that are spotted, you can keep. Any sheep that are pure, I'll keep. And so what he did was he took the sheep over to a bunch of trees and put black and white pitch all over the thing, and then made the, made the sheep graze there and mate there, and all they saw was black and white. And according to the story, all the sheep came up uh, speckled. That's not how uh, genetics works, by the way. Okay? But that's how the story says. So this wasn't just a, a, a pagan, foreign, Canaanite tradition. Some of this tradition made it into the Hebrew Bible as well. Okay, back to here. Um, 